It's a contentious subject. 965. A policy many think handed the Tories victory in Uxbridge. A policy back today in court and a boost for a mayor under fire. From the end of August, we can make greater progress in cleaning up the area in outer uh, London. The decision to expand ULES uh, was a difficult one for me to take. Uh, it wasn't taken lightly. OK, but you're at odds with the Labour leadership on this. Keir Starmer, immediately after what happened in Uxbridge, said that there needs to be a rethink there. Well, it was a hard decision uh, for And me hard to, make. to go against Keir Starmer on this. Well, it was a hard decision for, for, for me to make. Get Carl out! Get Carl out! The High Court today backed the expansion of the ultra-low emission zone, costing people in outer London £12.50 a day to drive certain vehicles throwing out the cases of five Conservative councils. Do you not accept that difficult decisions need to be made? This is short-term pain for the long-term bigger mission of cleaning up London. But it's short-term pain for the poorest motorists. First of all, it's the wrong time to do it. When everyone is going through one of the biggest cost of living crises in our lifetime, to introduce an extra charge onto people at this moment is wrong. I also think you could give people more notice. Both the introduction of ULES and the expansion had much more notice, so people were able to plan properly. And similar views aren't hard to find in Uxbridge, where ULES was weaponised at the ballot box by the government. There's enough going on at the moment with the cost of living and prices, and it's just not fair. I don't think that's the way to do it. I don't think it'll make any difference because people have to go about their business. Or in Barnet, a borough with one of the highest numbers of pollution-related deaths. It's always hitting the man in the street, isn't it? Um, and we've all got enough to pay out at the moment. It's £12.50, you said. That's a lot of money. ULES and its impact on the by-election in Uxbridge have turned into something much bigger. The government this week have hinted at watering down environmental policies. That tension between the green agenda and the cost of living has already turned into an election battleground. In an open letter to Rishi Sunak, the Green Alliance said politicians shouldn't use the environment as a political football. That may have already happened. Today, a legal hurdle was cleared for ULES. Political ones remain. I sold a house to finance this business and all of a sudden, you know, this policy has come along and undermined it. It's outrageous. Get Khan out! This morning, the High Court ruled that plans to extend the ULES by London Mayor Sadiq Khan was legal. The area where more polluting cars will have to pay £12.50 to drive around has vastly increased. Well, ULES was thought up by the Conservatives. Boris Johnson introduced it. It's been expanded. That's legal. You must be over the moon. <laughs> Not at all. And but it's one of your let, policies. No, it's your party it policy. Let's put it this way. No, it doesn't look after my residents because it's the poorest that hit, are hit the most. It is the doctors, the teachers, the nurses, the social workers that can't get into work. They're going to be charged £12.50 a day. Oh, hi, Kelly. I'm Richie. Very nice to see you. Rishi Sunak celebrating in Uxbridge last week, saved from the humiliation of three by-election losses, many believe by ULES. So a key issue, within the M25 at least. The question for many, all those who don't live in or anywhere near London is, well, why should I care about ULES, a policy about air quality in the capital? But since last week's by-election in Uxbridge, there has been a conflation by some politicians of this one air quality policy and all climate change issues under a broad green banner. Both the Conservatives and Labour are trying to wrestle with how they maintain their expensive green credentials during a cost of living crisis, all of which will be judged by the entire nation at a fast approaching general election. According to pollsters, though, when it comes to green initiatives, the public is broadly on board, and that's across all age groups and all locations. So I think those MPs would be a mistake if they think turning green issues into the next frontier of the culture war would be beneficial to them. I think the British public want to signal that they are progressive and on board with these things. Most of them are. I don't think there's a huge amount of appetite for sort of saying that it's all woke nonsense. However, where they might be onto something is thinking about how individual policies like ULES might land, especially in this economic climate. Keir Starmer has set out concerns about particularly the impact on cost of living and asked the Mayor of London to look at this again. It's clearly when there's a cost of living crisis, you have to take that into account. So Labour HQ have an issue with their Mayor's office. And it turns out the Conservatives' mayoral candidate might not agree entirely with her party's leader too. 
Londoners are telling us all loud and clear they do not want this and nobody is listening. So I am listening. Do they want the Prime Minister's net zero policies? No, I think that that will be looked at. Let's have a look. But in the meantime... But you want them looked at? You want them... I, I, I don't... I think that it's admirable to have them, but I think that they will be looked at. But meanwhile, in so London... So a rethink? You think the Prime Minister needs to rethink them? I, th I think there may be a rethink. In the meantime, I'm talking about London, and Londoners do not want this ULES expansion. It's nothing but a tax grab. The ULES expansion starts from August 29th. Expect the rowing to last far, far longer. Paul McNamara reporting there. Well, earlier I spoke to the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, about today's developments, and I started by guessing his reaction to the High Court ruling. Well, this, this landmark judgment today is good news for London because it means we can make more progress from the end of August to clean up the air in outer London uh, as well. Look, the decision to expand the ultra emission zone wasn't an easy one for me to make. It was a difficult one, but it's vital and essential to clean up the air in our city. We know that every year there's around 4,000 premature deaths linked with air pollution. We know there are children with stunted lungs forever and adults with a whole host of health issues from asthma to cancer, dementia to heart disease. But I'm listening. I've been listening for the last few uh, months. From next week, there'll be additional support to Londoners. Uh, almost a million families in London who receive child benefit will be eligible next week for further support. Every small business in London will be eligible from next week for uh, support and every charity from next week will get even greater support. But I'll carry on listening in advance of the expansion to see what more we can do to support Londoners. I mean, the question is, in terms of going ahead, will it go ahead on the same timetable as planned? As you say, a very difficult decision. You've won the battle against five Conservative councils, but it's quite possible you will lose the war against your own party on this. So the decision to expand uh, ULOS will take place on August the 29th. On exactly the same timetable as planned. But we'll, but we'll be providing more support to, to, to Londoners' uh, families, uh, to businesses and to charities. And we'll carry on listening to Londoners who may need more support. I mean, with respect, the Labour leader came out as soon as the Uxbridge by-election result was announced and said there was no doubt that your plan cost the Labour Party the by-election. What was it like being thrown directly under the bus by your own party leader? Well, these decisions are difficult decisions. Uh, they're not taken lightly to expand the ultra-low uh, emission zone, but they're important, vital uh, decisions. But he thinks it's the wrong decision now. That's the truth, isn't it? Well, well, look, when you're mayor, you've got to make these difficult uh, decisions. And, and the decision to expand ULES wasn't one I took uh, lightly, but it's important to recognise the public health crisis there is in uh, uh, London. It's important not to undermine and diminish the evidence, which is around 4,000 premature deaths a year directly linked with air quality. And that is an argument that you have made forcefully, and many, many people support you on that. But the Labour leader said he wanted you to go away and reflect on the expansion of the scheme. I mean, what did you take from the word reflection? It's like a teacher telling a child to reflect. It's never for a good thing, is it? Well, look, the, the decision to expand, you know, as I said, as the mayor, wasn't an easy one. It was a difficult one, but I've been listening... But it puts you in direct contradiction at the moment with the Labour Party leader, and I think people are trying to work out how you're going to navigate that. Well, look, what I'll be doing is doing what I've been doing for the last few months, which is listening to Londoners and responding to any concerns they may have. So did you take, when he said he wanted you to go away and reflect, that actually what he wanted you to do was pause. He says it's cost them the Uxbridge by-election. Of course, with an election coming up, it could cost many more constituencies. So how is that going to be navigated between you and Keir Starmer? So what we know already is that inner London, 96% uh, of cars are already compliant. In outer London, uh, 9 out of 10 cars are uh, compliant. So the good news is uh, those uh, vehicle owners aren't going to pay a penny more from August the 29th. We'll see the benefits but the even better news is those who may have non-compliant vehicles will get even more support from next week and I'll carry on listening to Londoners and respond to the concerns I they have. What I'm trying to get at and sorry to interrupt you when you talk about listening to Londoners are you talking about pausing this because Keir Starmer categorically the minute the election results were out said your ULES expansion plan was to blame Angela Rayner, Rachel Reeves all saying this may not be the right time to go ahead with expansion. So when we talk about reflection and listening to Londoners, are you talking potentially about a pause b before the next election? But policies to tackle the climate emergency and to tackle the air pollution are never easy ones to take. They're difficult ones to uh, take. They're not taken uh, lightly. 
but I'll carry on listening to uh, Londoners. Carry, I'll carry on responding. Sorry, Mr. Khan, but, but does listening mean that potentially this will be paused before the next election? Uh, the High Court decision means uh, that the expansion of uh, EULAs can take place and will take place on August the uh, 29th. It's essential that we address the air pollution crisis in our city, the public health crisis in our city. And we know EULAs works. How do we know it works? Because in central London, we managed to reduce the toxic air by almost 50 uh, percent, a third fewer children being admitted to hospital because of uh, air pollution attributable uh, uh, diseases. In inner London, a further reduction of 21 uh, uh, percent. But in outer London, which is where the years will be expanded, we know is the worst quality. Most of, of the motors here fall foul of London's ultra low emission zone rules and cost the cars in this garage come in red, blue. You might have trouble finding anything green. Though. Most of the motors here fall foul of London's ultra-low emission zone rules and customers Colin's been dealing with for decades have been driven away. Once a week I have a conversation with a customer saying I'm, I'm, not, I'm not spending money on the car, it's got to go, I'm not paying the ULEs. But this policy is being ratcheted up, extended and at precisely the wrong time if you are hoping to soon sell up and retire. I would imagine the business is worth half what it was a year ago. That's a bitter pill to swallow. <laughs> it, 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 never one swallow, you choke on it. You don't know how I lie, lie awake at night wondering what, you know, what the future holds for me now. I've sold a house to finance this business and then all of a sudden, you know, this policy's come along and undermined it. It's outrageous. Get Khan out! This morning, the High Court ruled that plans to extend the ULES by London Mayor Sadiq Khan was legal. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.